This week in Nerf, we've got the fastest flywheels on the market, more new blasters available online, and an HVZ game in a mall. I'm Jangle, and this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Jumping right on in, the thing that I am super, super excited for is these brand new flywheels that are coming to us from Out of Darts and Containment Crew. These are called the Instanto flywheels, and they are absurdly light. They are 2.89 grams each. That's less than stock flywheels. That's insane. These things are going to spin up so fast. They are uh, half, less than half the weight of things like the cyclone wheels, hooligan wheels, and, and other aftermarket wheels. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, and I'm super stoked to get my hands on some of these, because if you have been watching the show for a while, you know that I am a big fan of torquey motors, and the reason I'm a big fan of those is because they increase spin-up times. So if you add torquey motors with insanely light flywheels, you're going to get ridiculous, ridiculous spin-up times. Now, you may be saying, but Jang, with all these torquey motors we have, we can already get near instant rev up times with our heavier wheels like cyclone wheels and, and whatnot. And that's, that's, that's reasonable. That's fair. However, these are targeted at the HVZ crowd. The peeps, a, lot of, a lot of people may be coming into the hobby and may not want to have to run the biggest battery, the bulkiest uh, battery tray, or they may not want to invest in some of the more expensive motors, such as, you know, like uh, Neo Hellcats or things like that. They may just want to pick up some, some Michelle 2s or something like that, which, while great motors, may not be the most beefy, powerful powerhouses and uh, if you put some heavier wheels in there, may not have that instant rev up time. Still fast, but not instant, which HVZ really, really could use. So if someone wants to run something like a Michelle 2.0, a uh, original Rhino motor, or, or something along those lines, these light flywheels are going to let them have faster rev up times than they would with something like uh, Cyclone wheels. So that is awesome. Awesome. Absolutely. I, I love it. I am so, so stoked for these. I love the idea of wheels built around that speed idea, that rev up time, and that is absolutely awesome. Now, the uh, outer diameter is 35.20, and the inner diameter is 34.572 millimeters, and that is, uh, I believe, slightly wider than hooligan wheels with slight more concavity. Uh, just to give you an idea of what these are going to be like. And that that is just so cool. I mean, I love the name, uh, Instanto, which is just, just Japanese instant, the pronunciation of instant in Japanese. Um, and I think it's just, I, I thought I thought it was really neat. I saw it and I was like, is that just, is that, is that instant in Japanese? And it is, and I love it. I thought it was a really, really neat name, a fun name for them because we're gonna get those instant rev up times with these flywheels. I'm just, I, I, I could ramble on about these for a while because I think they're just really, really cool, but I won't because there's other things to talk about, but I will leave you with the point that these are $18 per pair and they are available now on Auto Darts Etsy shop and I believe Containment Crew's web store as well. So go get your pairs now because these things, I'm super excited. I am so looking forward to getting my hands on them. But enough of that. Moving on, uh, the Rev Reaper and the Quadrant are on Amazon now. Uh, the Nerf Noob, again, has found these listings and posted them up on Reddit. The Rev Reaper is going to be $25 and the Quadrant is $20. Uh, the Quadrant is a little bit more than some people were expecting, potentially, considering what it is, but... Uh, it's, it's still something neat and interesting. The Rev Reaper is definitely unique and something different to try. They may not be the highest end hobby grade platforms that a lot of people may be looking forward to or anything like that. But if you like fun or goofy blasters, these are things you may want to check out. I mean, the Rev Reaper is definitely a unique and interesting blaster, even if it isn't going to be a good blaster necessarily. But that is, that's, it's, you know. It's, it's something, something for everybody. That's part of what's great about this hobby. 
Also, LLF2 found that the micro shots have gone up on walmart.com. They're not available for sale yet, but the listing is up there, which is good to know. It means we should potentially be seeing these relatively soon. And that is exciting because I like the idea of the micro shots. This is fun, goofy little collectible jolts with with uh, interesting skins on them. I'm gonna be getting the Fire Strike one for sure. I love myself some Fire Strikes, so I think they're cool. I'm excited they're coming out and excited that we should hopefully be seeing them on walmart.com soon. Also, the rival Phantom Core version of the Kronos is starting to appear in the US. Uh, FN Justice posted up a BrickSeek link with the, uh, uh, the area for you to put in your zip code and you can find or search where in your area may have the chronos and it'll tell you where they are and all that good stuff uh they are starting to pop up in the bay area here on the west coast and supposedly on the east coast as well so maybe in the next week or so we'll start to see that kind of move into the middle of the country as well but i i am looking forward to getting my hands on one of these as well it's definitely a cool blaster and i'm glad we finally have something smaller and more compact for the rival line for all of us to use. Uh, so the link for that will be down below for sure if you're looking for a Phantom Core Chronos and if you didn't want to pick up the Deadpool one or you only wanted one, not two, didn't want to pay 60 bucks. These are gonna be 20 bucks and you can get them at Target. Again, that link will be down below. And that's gonna bring us to the mod of the week. This week, it comes to us from My Venom, and this is the Nerf Javelin. This is an HPA powered, just a monster of a rocket launcher. I love the aesthetic of it. I love the long, huge tube coming off of the back. It makes it look like a rocket launcher. And that's, I, I think it's awesome. He took a demolisher for the base of the blaster and uh, rigged up all the HPA stuff. And he has multiple attachments for the barrel so it can shoot like Titan rockets. It can shoot an absolver shell. It can shoot uh, a whole, it can shoot whatever pretty much depending on the attachment he is using for it. And uh, I think one of my favorite parts is that they left the HAMP launcher intact on the demolisher shell. So if the big rocket doesn't get him, then maybe the little rocket will. I think that was just a nice little touch that I really enjoyed. But this is a really fun build. Uh, it's for one of the Reddit competitions. If you if you want to check that out, you can go look at that. And the, the link for the Reddit post will be down below, of course. Check that out because I think it's such, it's such a fun and cool build. I absolutely love it. Um, moving on, video of the week comes to us from Foam Dart Thunder. Now, we've featured a video from Foam Dart Thunder in the past. I think they have been doing some fantastic things in terms of upping the quality of Nerf events uh, over uh, overseas, and uh, they are not stopping. This is a video from Terminal Infection, their first mall-based HVZ game. So they got free run of a mall to play an HVZ game in, and that is so cool. I mean, how could you not want to have a nerf game in a giant mall and just run around and have free reign of the halls and, and all the just all the area it's so cool to me and i love that they're doing this i love that they're trying to up the ante on nerf events and uh, they're getting some great video out of it as well i believe he actually has camera crews and dedicated people to recording and editing and po um, posting these videos and they're great promotional content that really shows the amount of detail and effort that goes into the costuming and uh, everything or the makeup for the zombies and stuff like that because they do really try and take it to the next level and I think it's absolutely awesome. The one thing I will say is I really really would love to see one of these videos focus on just one group of people playing the game and follow them throughout the event. So you get to see from beginning to end kind of how the event flows and how it changes and, and uh, how the story progresses and all that because I think that really would be a great selling point to what is trying to be done with these events and I, I am looking forward to more of them. They're already planning more of them so that's something to put on my list of events that Hopefully one day I'll get to go experience because it looks absolutely awesome and like a fantastic blast. So if you want to check that out, that video is going to be right over here because we are now are at the end of the video. So let me know what you think about everything today. The big thing to me is the fastest flywheels. 
So excited to those for those. So let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, if you're new to the channel, enjoy this video. Feel free to hit the subscribe button for more than fortune. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.